Thyroid gland is an endocrine gland. Whatever you eat turns into energy or fat depends upon thyroid gland. There are two types of thyroid, hypothyroidism and hypothyroidism. In hypothyroidism, the body makes the body requires and in hypothyroidism basically the body makes less uh, thyroid hormones than your body requires thyroid is an autoimmune disorder in which the immune system attacks the thyroid which can either lead to hypothyroidism or hypothyroidism it is seen that thyroid can be caused by iodine deficiency also so let's check what are the symptoms of thyroid you feel lethargic less motivated you eat less gain weight more, frizzy hair, dry skin, joint pain, constipation, less motivated, more chances of getting depression, palpitation. So these are the symptoms of hypothyroid. Whereas in hypothyroid, there is a lot of weight loss, irritability and tremors. There are many myths related to thyroid. So I'm going to pop the balloon here. First myth is that when you develop thyroid, you will have goiter, which means enlarged thyroid. But the fact is that majority of the people does not develop goiter when they have thyroid. And the most common myth with thyroid is that you cannot lose weight with hypothyroidism. But the fact is, if your medicine is set and it is effective, nothing will stop from losing weight if your diet plan is accordingly made and it is customized for your thyroid problem. So I'm going to tell you some preventive measures where you can lead a very healthy life if you have thyroid as well. First of all, stop taking processed food because the chemicals in this processed food basically interferes or alters the thyroid hormone production. Limit the intake of soy because it alters the thyroid hormone production. Stop smoking because the chemical released during smoking can make the thyroid gland oversensitive and can lead to different disorders because of thyroid. Reduce stress and have adequate sleep. Stress is one of the major contributors in many of the health issues. Lastly, increase the duration of exercise, be it yoga, be it aerobics or be it maybe simple walk or cycling or swimming, anything which your body feels comfortable with. It's very important. So what should we add in the diet so that the production of thyroid hormone is adequate? Firstly, start adding iron and selenium rich food like brazil nuts. They help in the production. Add yogurt, milk, cheese, berries, eggs, fish, chicken that helps in the production. So the most tried and tested thing which I generally give to all my patients is coriander seed water. What we have to do is, one, we have to soak one teaspoon of coriander seed in a glass of water overnight. We have to boil it in the morning and sieve it and have it first thing in the morning. It really helps in reducing the TSH levels. Add little bit of good fat in your diet, like all nuts and seeds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, almonds and walnuts. Foods to be avoided in thyroid, cruciferous vegetables, or the goitrogenic foods like Brussels sprouts, cabbage, broccoli, kale. Research suggests that digesting these vegetables may block the ability of thyroid gland to utilize the iodine which is actually essential for thyroid function. So if you have best person to guide you and best place to buy healthy things, life becomes much easier. So Well Curve and I am there to make things best for you.